Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. The LG NV Touch might just be the best phone in Verizon's lineup right now. I know there's the Touch Diamond, Touch Pro, Blackberries, Blackberry Storm, whatever. I don't know, man. I've been testing this thing out for a week or so now, and um, it's not for everybody. As I try to say all the time, you know, just because one person says, oh, it's the best phone, doesn't mean it's the right phone for you. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying overall, given everything about the device compared to everything about all the other devices, it might be the best one in the lineup. Why do I say that? because uh, it can do just about everything you want. It's a little bit slimmer and sleeker than the old Voyager. It's got a couple of key upgrades that kind of extend its functionality. I mean, it's got the 800 by 480 touch screen and an 800 by 480 internal screen, which are both gorgeous to look at. It's not a capacitive touch screen, it's resistive, so it's not quite as good as the Palm Prees, G1s, and uh, iPhones of the world in terms of responsiveness, but it's not bad. It's certainly better than the old Voyager as far as touchscreen goes. The uh, user interface is maybe a little overly complex, but you know, if you, if you want to customize it and do all the shortcuts and everything, you can mess around with it to your heart's content. And if you don't, you can just kind of keep, keep it set up, you know, basic and uh, you know, it, it's definitely usable. The web browser has an RSS feed reader, it has tab browsing, it renders pages pretty well. It's not quite as smooth as, as some of the higher end smartphones, but it's really, it's probably the best feature phone web browser I've seen. And it plays uh, YouTube videos in line, which is kind of a neat trick. It's got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack now, so I can finally be quiet about ranting about how uh, Verizon phones don't have three and a half millimeter headphone jacks. So if you want to use it as a Walkman, you know, as an iPod, you can. Um, Micro USB charging port and connector point now, which is standardized, which is great. The Verizon network's great. You're gonna pay, you know, for some of the services and everything because it is Verizon. But uh, you know, when you open it up, full keyboard. There's really there's a lot to like about this phone. The voice quality's been great. The data speed and signal strength have been really good. It's got GPS. You know, a few things about it. I'll show you in a second. Um, that uh, are kind of, you know, there's no email client, you have to pay extra for email, which is kind of silly, you have to pay extra for visual voicemail, which is kind of silly, that kind of thing. But all in all, I think the uh, the NV Touch, a worthy upgrade to the original NV, and, um, I mean, to the uh, original Voyager, which it now replaces. Um, a little bit bigger than the NV3, so, you know, this is also another option, but there are things that the uh, NV Touch has, not just the touchscreen, but a few other things the NV Touch has that the NV3 doesn't have. But, uh, you know, all in all, again, I'm very impressed with this phone. And this kind of phone makes me wonder, like, do you really need to go the extra mile to a smartphone and deal with the extra complexities and pay the extra data price and that kind of thing? Or could a really high-end feature phone like this do the job for you? Again, it all depends on who you are and, you know, what really matters to you. Um, especially in an age where even though the launch price of this might be $149, you are probably going to see it pretty soon through third-party retailers for you know, much cheaper than that up front, whereas you're not gonna see a Palm Pre or an iPhone uh, or a G, well, a G1's come down a little bit now, but you're not gonna see a Pre or an iPhone knocked down in price anytime soon, I don't think. Anyway, let's take a deeper look at the NV Touch. All right, so here's your NV Touch. We'll have the light on for a second so you can see the device, and you can get more of a comparison of this phone to the original Voyager in the unboxing video that I uh, posted uh, a week or so ago. But, um, you know, I, I've been playing with it for a while, and it's funny because I've been playing with it, testing, I say playing with it, testing it, but it's really playing with it. At the same time that the Pre came out, and the new iPhone OS, and all these high-end smartphones. And the thing is, uh, you know, for a lot of people, um, a device like this is going to do everything you want. 149 on contract is not, you know, that much cheaper than 199 for a Pre, or now 99 for the reduced cost iPhone 3G, 199 for the new iPhone 3GS or uh, 179 for a T-Mobile G1. And again, some of those prices, you can find them cheaper through third-party retailers. The iPhone, you're not gonna get for cheaper than what AT&T and, and Apple sell it for. Uh, but you know, the, the NV Touch, you may see cheaper than 149. Uh, you can go to Phone Dog and use our shopping tools if you wanna check that out. But this phone really, you know, 800 by 480 touch screen, or touch screen on the outside and screen on the inside. The full QWERTY board is, uh, you know, it's it's comfortable to use. They've revamped the, the user interface here. So on the inside, you've got this user interface designed for D-pad navigation. And you know, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Big icons, easy to use. We'll go to, uh, we'll go to My Music. I downloaded a, a track the other day. So we'll get that playing. 
And then while that's playing, we'll close it up, go to the outside, and then you've got uh, a touchscreen interface. And see, you know, I went into the, uh, the music player there. Go back. You can see your playlist, you know. So a lot of sort of multitasking type features that, you know, we're used to only seeing on uh, high-end smartphones. Um, it's obviously not going to be the same as something like a Palm Pre with all the cards and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, so what? Uh, just meaning not a knock on the Pre, but meaning like a lot of people, it doesn't matter. You want to have music, you want to do something in the background. You can set up all kinds of shortcuts to websites. You can set up, you know, you have your shortcuts to your things that you use a lot. Uh, the new Verizon ads are, are touting, um, let's get back, let's turn off the music for a second. The new Verizon ads are touting uh, that the new Envy phones are app friendly. There aren't really all that many apps yet that I've been able to find, but uh, it's not really any different than the stuff that Verizon sold before, you know, in terms of games and, uh, you know, certain apps like VZ Navigator, stuff like that. That may change in, uh, in the coming months. But, you know, it's not like they've, they've launched this, uh, you know, iTunes-style app store. But again, you know, so what? Um, that might matter to you. It might not. Uh, one thing that I like here, I will go to the messaging menu. And we'll go to my messages. And you can see uh, a threaded, a saved threaded view of a conversation I had with myself. <laughs> this is uh, my the avatar for the NV3, which is a not very good picture I took of it. And that's an avatar of me from another phone. And so you can see when you, when you write messages, it saves them... Uh, you know, saves them as a threaded style. And so I'll send a new message here. Uh, we'll erase this. And we'll just say, Dude, you, have, whoops. You have no hair. And I'll send it. And it shows up now in the thread. And so there's my newest message. And you can see, you know, I started this thread almost a week ago now. And then here's today. So it's it's broken up by date and everything. Just nice little features that look great on the screen. You know, it's like some of these higher end features now coming down to, uh, you know, a messaging phone. It's a high end messaging phone, but just not a, a full on smartphone. Um, no VCast mobile TV on this device, which never worked out here in the San Francisco area anyway for me. I know some people will be sad. I'm not a big mobile TV guy. I think the, the video on demand clips are better where you, you, know, you download them and then watch them. I just think you get a better viewing experience than the mobile TV. But some people like the mobile TV. So, you know, if you do, uh, you're going to miss that on the NV Touch because the original Voyager had it. You can still get, you know, the VCast videos, the VCast music, all that stuff. So, you know, we'll go to full length shows and uh, I don't know is there anything worth watching I didn't mean to go to spike yeah, let's go to 30 rock and again all this stuff you know subscription based you can get this one actually there's a Verizon plan for 35 bucks a month with no voice and you get unlimited web, unlimited messaging, personal email, and then you can get voice by the minute, which is kind of interesting. Or obviously, you know, all kinds of uh, different options. So, you know, the, the quality not quite as awesome as the quality uh, on like an i you know, buying from the iTunes store. I don't mean to keep invoking Apple, it's just that, you know, they kind of lead in terms of, uh, in terms of um, the downloading and consuming of media. That's why I bring that up. But then, you know, you can get VZ Navigator for your turn-by-turn -turn directions. Uh, the browser is really good, I think. Uh, the one thing that I don't... One thing I don't like is that there's no email client on the device right off the bat. But, I mean, look at this. Gmail renders out on the web browser. And I can do my Gmail, you know, via, via the web on the browser here, which is just terrific. And it works great. And so I'm just going to scroll to a part of the email that doesn't have any sensitive information on it. But, you know, here's an email I got, the new follower on Twitter or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's great. The images aren't loaded just yet. Um, Evdu Rev-A coverage, you know, right now I'm on the 1X, but you can do EVDO Rev-A. Uh, I just happen to be where I test phones, is where I do these videos, rather, is in kind of a sketchy area for service. But the signal quality has generally been very good testing this phone around the... San Francisco and East Bay area. No Wi-Fi on the device. It'd be nice if this had Wi-Fi, but that's again where you get into kind of smartphone territory. Uh, we'll go to this is uh, this is cool. So I go to my favorites and news feeds, RSS feeder, 
And so here's just an RSS2 feed of Engadget. And uh, it's not the best RSS feeder in the world, a couple of little weird little quirks about it, but it works. And for me, RSS reading on a mobile device is huge. Uh, Palm Pre, no RSS feeder out of the box. Uh, Android, I think when it first came out, there wasn't one built into the web browser, you know, but look at this, the LG NV Touch, a non-smartphone, has an RSS reader built into the web browser. That's pretty cool. I, I like things like that. As I showed you in the other video, the unboxing video, you can watch YouTube videos in line, which is great. Um, a couple other things, there's a shortcut button to favorites, so you can set up your favorites to easily get in touch with them, view, you know, your, uh, your communication with them, that kind of stuff. One touch button to get to messaging. So you can send a new text message with one button, which, which one touch, which is really nice. The keyboard I think is great. It's chiclet style, it's pretty firm. Keys are nicely spaced out. Um, you know, the layout's a little bit different on each phone, so it's taken me a little bit of getting used to, but uh, when, you know, I spent a lot of time with this device, you know, uh, uh, all at once. I got to typing pretty fast on it. Works really quite well. The speakers are actually quite loud. I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, listening to music on cell phone speakers, but they're stereo speakers. They actually work pretty well, as you heard when we played the uh, the right round there. Uh, speaker phone's pretty loud, which is nice. The three and a half millimeter headphone jack again is great. Micro SD card slot. Um, you know, all in all, uh, really uh, just a nice device, I think. And um, you know, you can do your little home screen shortcut widgets and you know there's a lot you can do with it uh, if you're into you know photo bucket you can upload directly I can put my gmail link on my home screen here we'll put uh, we'll put YouTube out there on the home screen and now I've got I gotta get Flowrider out of here man there we go and so now I've got, you know, this little shortcut to YouTube. I can move that around on the home screen, which is really cool. Uh, and then you can go in one level deeper, you know, to your regular menu. And I just, I think they've done a, uh, I've said it, you know, <laughs> you get the idea. I like the phone. Voice quality is good. Data quality is good. Uh, if you're on Verizon and you want kind of a messaging phone that can do it all, you don't need to sync necessarily to corporate email or to your PC at home or anything like that. 3.2 megapixel camera with uh, autofocus flash and video capture. You know, it's funny, a feature phone like this, video capture right out of the box. Some of these high-end smartphones didn't come with video capture right out of the box. iPhone, Android, Palm Pre, no video capture. So, you know, going after a different market or inferior technology, I'm not, you, you judge, I'm not going to judge. But I'll show you the camera real quick. Um, actually, I'll go from the dedicated camera button right here. We'll unlock this, get the camera happening. And, you know, you get options too, right? You get, uh, you know, you can zoom in the camera, you can change your brightness, you can turn the video light on, all that kind of stuff. You can go to your camera mode, and then you have, you know, all these different options in terms of your focusing and uh, your megapixel resolution. You can do panoramas. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff you can do um, with this phone that, you know, for a so-called feature phone, so-called dumb phone. It's smarter in a lot of ways than some of the smartphones. Again, it lacks in terms of things like PC syncing, corporate email, uh, email in general, um, you know, multitasking, things like that, that, you know, power users who really want a smartphone will know why they want those things. But if not, if you're on Verizon, this is definitely worth a look. I like it quite a bit. It's the NV Touch from LG and Verizon. Big thumbs up for me for this one. Uh, 149 on contract from Verizon, but you might be able to find it cheaper if you look around elsewhere. And there you go. Much, much more on this phone, the NV3, all the other new Verizons, all the other new phones, all the other LGs, everything, everything coming your way, as always, on PhoneDog.com. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>